What's up, guys? It's your boy Zen. Welcome to the Zen Zone. It is time for part two of Hogwarts Legacy. We are hopping into it again today with a, another episode of our Hucklepuff. I never got any comments on the last video, so we're just going to continue this one until someone tells me, hey, I want you to play as Ravenclaw or Slytherin or something else, please. So, yeah, there's that. Um, like I said, doing a couple side missions right now. We're currently involved with collecting book pages for this chick who apparently casted an awesome spell on them. How do you look finding my diary and the rest of my books? And she also lost her diary. Uh, before we begin, please do me a favor, hit that like, hit that follow, hit that subscribe button. They're free, it's easy, and why not? Do you like the content that I'm currently creating? I'm going to be mainly doing a lot of gaming content until I am <clears throat> free and my gym is actually open again for me to do gym, uh, treadmill and talk. Any look finding my diary and the rest of my books? Shut up, Cassandra. Jesus, you're like the new Karen of life. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to see that, I know I know a lot of people want to see me do some treadmill and talk again, which I'm always down to do. I'm always keen to do in shape things and like talk about life and the pursuit of happiness. But uh, right now, my g my current gym is doing remodeling, so it's, that's going to be a little bit. But till then, you get to see me play video games and do wacky zany stuff. Uh. One day, I'm probably going to do a video about me cooking food. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, and also, like I always say, if you like the content and want to be a supporter, please just share with your friends. Get my, get my subscribers up, please. And thank you. All right. So without further ado, let's dive right back into it. Any look finding my diary? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. <laughs> like I should care. never have trusted them. Yeah, you pay me that three hundred. Yeah, dark wizard, get what you want. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna go to gear. I see. This is weird for me. I just saw it light up. For gear, I don't know why it's, it's still lighting up for gear. You guys see that too, right? I'm not just tripping. Maybe I am tripping, but like at the same time, no. I know this is um, buzz and play. I like that. I'm gonna start calling this buzz and play because I'm getting buzzed and I'm playing video games. Yeah, so buzz and play. So yeah, we're gonna come up with a bunch of wacky zany stuff to say. We got treadmill and talk, buzz and play. And I don't know, something to do with food. I'll figure I'll figure it out later. Um maybe I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. If you guys got any any ideas for what I can do something with food. It's gotta be like good it's gotta be like you know, catchy. Let me know in the comments below, please. It would be helpful, because I can't do this all on my own. I mean, I, I can, but like, at the same time, I can't, because I need you guys. So, uh, yeah, let me know. We got Buzz and Play, where you just get drunk with me and I watch you play video games. We got Treadmill and Talk, where... I walk on, I do a little jogging and and talk on a treadmill for 
an extended period of time. And then we got um food and flirts. Maybe, maybe it'd be food and flirt. Like I, I would need a partner for that one. Where you guys see me use wacky, zany, uh, pick up lines on people and just like flirt with them, I guess. While we're also eating food, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's a, that's a later one, I guess. Where I just. <laughs> we're right now we're doing buzz and play. What about the room, Professor? <sighs> I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions so, ingredients, although they rarely. If anyone is potions. fluent in the Professor Harry Potter Shop lore, please do me a favor of in, um, indulging me a little bit. Aren't I've the Weasleys, before, Professor. like Ron is Weasley and his family, the Weasleys, is, of is she part of them when or objects. not? I, I don't know. Explain more about them when you begin working with like, is this game, I, I, I guess I'm asking, is this game canon to the Harry Potter lore? I, There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. It, there is. I'll look it Most up for later for consumption, but like, Alley. I'm not We're sure it is, but at the same time, I'm not... Mr. Not sure. Ollivander that makes sense. is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I know this takes place before the whole uh, Harry Potter's lore and Fantastic Beasts lore, so I don't know I exactly get the if she's well, like an ancestor of Ron or something. Visit to the village with a I think she Hope is, because I, I, I read on somewhere Perhaps like apparently Voldemort. His ancestors are in this, so yeah, I think this is way before Harry and the whole Fantastic Beasts saga. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students, and she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I still want a butterbeer. That sounds amazing. I need to find the recipe for butterbeer now. <laughs> One day, guys, one day I will have the recipe for butterbeer. And I will make a butterbeer. And I will drink said butterbeer. Huh. 
And you will watch me drink some. Ah, That's a bear. Oh, the quest. Then yours. Let's go to maps. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of new quests. Ooh. Not a bunch. Like I got Oh! Gobstones. Yes. We're gonna do that one instead first. A, I like to level up before I do every game. And currently I am getting buzzed on a cheap IPA. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? If you guys are interested, and a steel reserve because I am cheap and an easy date. <laughs> Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. Not a sponsor of this video, but just friends. awesome people. So awesome brewery. Awesome down to the common room. My gobstone collection. For cheap people. I was hoping someone so would So don't funds. I just want a quick buzz. I recommend still like reserve. <laughs> Again, not a sponsor. If you lose, they yeah. spray you with a foul smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places <laughs> all over the school. Hashtag gobstone. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that oh, high, sweet Jesus, got up this there girl. somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Bing. Damn. I've been there. <laughs> we've all played we've all played video games by ourselves lonely. Well, we've all played games by ourselves lonely. I remember the first time I played Risk by myself. It sucked. It's great taking over the world by yourself. Keep an eye huh? on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, there's one. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Well, I'm gonna figure out that door one day. Life. There's one up there. Yeah. I gotta get a PS5. Revelio. Oh. Action line. Revelio. I hear you. Thank God I have a PS5. Also, I just heard that apparently Sony. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. And apparently, Hogwarts is going to be delayed for the PS4 and Xbox. So I'm so happy I have a PS5. Okay, 4K graphics. Hey, me. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh. Oh, well, game's not that intelligent. Well, I'm not that intelligent. I'm also playing Buzz, so I'm not that good at. <laughs> Can't glitch out the game yet. 
There's a downside to having a PS5, guys. You can't glitch out the game. I mean, you can glitch out the game, but it breaks your console if you do. It's not worth glitching out the game. So I, I guess PC is Master Race? Hashtag maybe? Because <laughs> consoles are almost as getting more and more advanced as a PC. I just... I w Some of these views are like freaking beautiful. Like look at this ar architecture right here. This is... Wow. I love this game for the simple fact that Dude, like, look at that. That is freaking beautiful right there. I don't care. Maybe on a PC it might be more detailed and whatnot, but my PS5 is running smoothly and I'm okay with looking at it like this. This is freaking amazing, dude. <clears throat> like, don't get me wrong. I honestly wish I had a PC. I do. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm completely happy with my PS5. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Let me also! XP! Look at that, dude. That was freaking sick. I love this game. There's so many little hints from the movies and from the books. This is freaking amazing. Let's see, there's the other one, huh? Oh, there's uh, the there's third one. I kind of want to really figure out what's behind that door. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented two packs. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. So what up here? Uh, no, that's not it. I just I hear it. I just can't see it. Let me pick that up. Rebellion. What are you up to now? It's right there, and the final one. Rebellion. Is somewhere in this room. So high places. Oh wait, nope. the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. And you know what? We are going to fast travel. <laughs> That's funny. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, smart. <clears throat> smart, I'll like her back. 
I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? No, I like chaos. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Of course you can have them. Oh, thank Merlin. You had me worried there. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Oh, any mini money money catch tiger by so it the hollers let him go. Okay, now it's a chance. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting the back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Chaos. You know, because, you know, Dark Arts Wizard. Chaos. Chaotic neutral. Huh. Revelio. Damn, I thought that was for sure a statue. I mean, obviously it's a statue. I thought that was for sure going to be something I could, like, I don't know, see? Get, like, free XP? Four? Um, track. Unreparo. Rebellion. In trouble, are we? Paid up to that good. Not as much. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. Okay, I do wish a I number of your professors have agreed I've broken so much well. shit in my but life first, that I would probably each need it. Ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to Pretty sure all magic. of you would love repair. <laughs> See them through, and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. So, unfortunately, he is right. Experience firsthand always helps, but, dude, some of these tasks don't make any sense to the spell that I'm learning at all. Like, you're gonna see in this video what I mean by that. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. 
Perhaps the Duke of Lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> oh, dang it. I wish I could jump in the water. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Oh, dang it. Let's go here to uh, that. Was that rain? Oh wow, it is raining. Huh. Dude, I never noticed that. Nice. That's amazing. Rebellion. Ooh, chest. Ooh, piece of candy. Hello, looking for me? Uh, piece of candy. Dang it, I should have stopped. Uh, a scorch marks. I actually want to read all that one because that might. It's not an outpost. Collections. That's my wands. Let's see. Field guide pages. Scorch marks. Allegedly, the location of the first known in instance. Really successful casting of Bombarda. Date unknown, caster and denial. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. It's good to know. Rebellion. I think that's a glitch in the Matrix. New gear. Okay, let's upgrade a little bit. Cause I got new shit. Yes. And then, cool thing about this is I can change the appearance to darkness. I don't know if I showed you guys that yesterday, but yeah. Sorry guys, I'm checking something real fast. Apparently there is an update coming out for this game here soon where you'll be able to actually buy the invisibility cloak. Nice. Nice. Cool. I'm actually excited about that. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm actually excited about that. Nice. All right. So, back to what I was doing, which was seven defense. And inventory and whatnot. But you guys aren't excited about that. No, you guys want to see me play the game. All right, so... Uh, keep it spot, oh, damn it. There's not. I should, I'll show you guys how to open those chests if you're interested in. If you own the game, it took me forever to realize how to open those chests, and I'm like completely upset with myself that it took so long. Like, first playthrough, I was so upset with it. Batty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? <coughs> I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Well, I'll give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. <laughs> Hashtag don't mean that because I'm, like, older than her. <laughs> but not... You know, you know what I mean. God damn it. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Forest. I wonder if something yeah, started there. Yeah, I heard rumors that Hippogriff had been spotted nearby. Obviously, gonna ride you guys later on in the game. Hippogriffs? Absolutely. Like they already named. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Dude, just look at this. This is freaking beautiful, in my personal opinion. Like, all of this right here. Beautiful graphics. Beautiful hardware. Beautiful software. Like, the creativity alone I is I would spend amazing. all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. Since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, 
Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys. Ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. No, uh, Mr. Moon's where we're at. Buzz and play. <laughs> when I get to that level, that's when it's called to uh, pass out and go to sleep. <laughs> Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a new one of course you will enjoy mr olivander and i am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own you should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well experience hugs meet at your own pace we can meet up in the town circle when you are finished enjoy yourself i will see you soon okay so this is hugs meet Nice. Um, let's go visit. You know what? We're gonna visit everything. All of his wands. Let's go there, because I want a new wand first. Foremost. Chest. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, so, a moment, please. if you guys downloaded the app, uh, Harry Potter app, uh, you hello, sir. will for, be prompted to be able yes. to uh, it's about time. Yes, create uh, your own character early time. game. What well, I did. Our new I you got oh, what a I new one. Of course you are. Already. A new name. spell and a beast. I'm sure. So it's worth it to download the, the app. Again, that's not a sponsor of this channel, but now, they're really cool and they help Let's you out in the game. The one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. 
Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. Just like, we'll nah, nah, nah let's try you another one. Yeah. No, not you. Uh, uh, car salesmen were like this guy. Perhaps. Everyone owned a car right now. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. You can see already it comes out with like Phoenix feathers and whatnot and quality bendy. But I'm gonna because I'm going dark build. Make curious indeed. This wand. Twelve and th twelve and three quarters. Well, we're gonna max out. How intriguing! The length. The Phoenix feathers is okay. The Phoenix, the feather of Phoenix, the series is the core of the wand, capable of producing a great range of magic. The hair of a unicorn, the series is the core of the wand, for producing consistent magic. It's your choice. I like consistency. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Even though Phoenix is really rare, it's kind of long range away. I prefer consistent flow of motion, so the unicorn is for me. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. So, from here, we go to gear, and that's where it was. Let's do spiral ending. Or uh, purple ending. I'm gonna do spiral. Something like that.
Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to... You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. Is it not the most fascinating art? Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make... As it's your first time in, I well, should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also I offer ready-made drafts for all manner of you. But for now... What can I do for you today? We're gonna purchase a few shit bro, because I'm broke. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Mm. We're gonna also get your chest, free stuffs. We're gonna do visit the school tombs. Our tombs, and, tomes, and scrolls. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. Matilda, student. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. Ah, but you will soon enough. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where Low key, my spell this dude reminds me of one Stay of my friends, course, actually. <laughs> you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to us. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like be... Let's look at what we have, shall we? I you guys no remember exactly Feel free to take a look around at what the rest of my I got day. for a pop quiz later. And also ask questions like, why haven't you used this yet? Or, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. What the heck? You haven't gotten what you paid for. And I'm gonna open you. <laughs> Ooh, that actually... I'm okay with that one. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That looks nice. I like that sort of. Because that's just the... That's just my whole outfit. Magic key. So next. Where's oh that's all the way out there. Boonies. Magic keep. I do want to do a little bit of exploring, but also I feel like something important is about to come up. Want to like finish that out before the video is over? Ooh, fine. Okay. Well, hello there. Pardon me. Oh, the ditch of Merlin's beard. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it. Well, bravo. Name's Timothy. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't be. I suppose not. In addition to C. But what? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look cool. around. Cool. Plenty of ingredients Isn't to pique your interest, out, aren't we? Voila. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Alright, let's go and do this, guys. 
Because I promise you, it's worth the wait. Even though I'm kind of... Not happy with... My time. I do want to explore a little bit more, but... Short on time. Alright, so we're gonna... Talk to Natty. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, what? What's going on? Oh, man. What's up, bro? Yeah, you guys killed that guy. Please. Ultimate attack, yes. Die. Death. Yeah, this is a good person. Yeah. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. All right, good. <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. I don't need to see. No, come on out. Thank you. Don't glitch out on me. <laughs> oh, hello there. Um, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Yeah. So much glitchiness. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to finish the stream right now. Please do me a favor and like, follow, and subscribe for more adventures of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, let me know what you thought of part two of Hogwarts Legacy. And let's continue with the dark saga of this wizard, Steppenwolf. Thanks again. Zen is out.